Hello everyone, this is Suresh from Azure ADB. Today our topic is how to enable DBFS file browser tab in Databricks Community Edition. If you see here this DBFS tab under catalog is available only when we do some settings in community version. If you see in our portal, see this is the default uh, thing. If you see here, here available only databases and tables under catalog. Okay, so in catalog, we don't have DBFS option. So how to recover this option? You just go here under your username and go to settings and come to advanced and come down under other you'll find here dbfs file browser enable or disable dbfs file browser you just switch on this button so you'll find message like you must refresh the page okay so if you cross verify here see this is not reflecting you, know? you just refresh this page And if you check under catalog, see now this DBFS option is available. If you see here under DBFS, you will have file store and user. If you see under file store, you have tables. Under tables, whatever I uploaded you now, all input files like CSV, text, JSON. So all these input files you can able to see here. And one more thing, if you see under user and under hive, you will see hive, under hive, you will see warehouse, under warehouse, you will find all delta lake logs you can file c and under this okay so what is the main purpose of this activating dbfs see in file stores you can copy your uh, input file path suppose i want this path you just click on this copy path and copy this one and uh, see if you want to read that file you replace that path here or you can enter here then you can read your input file okay if it is csv csv or if it is json you can read json file okay so this is one purpose so what is the main purpose of doing this so one thing is how to find the uploaded dbfs file in databricks that is this one all these files how to find this next second thing is to fix DBFS, which is not visible in Databricks Community Edition. So since by default it is not available, so we can activate this one. And second is DBFS supports uh, Lakehouse structure. So that means it supports structured, unstructured, and semi-structured types. So whatever we are seeing this default, that means this, if you uncheck this option, arrows will check here only instead of unchecking. See, initially we have database tables. That means only database and tables. So that is related to structure. So structure structure section will work like SQL Server with databases and tables. That means this one, databases and tables. And whatever we are seeing this DBFS files, you no, know, these are all files. So that is related to unstructured section. So DBFS stands for Databricks File System. As the name suggests, it's a file store and storing all flat files 
like CSV, JSON, Parquet, Avro. Okay, and you can store them in your folder structure with hierarchy. So that means here yeah, we can able to save all different types like .txt, JSON, CSV, Parquet, Avro. We can save it and we can maintain structure, folder structure. Okay, so that's what it telling. So that's all about uh, this video. So if you really like this video, please like and subscribe my channel. Thank you.